And it's that time again. Welcome to Cram Time. Welcome to another video. Today we will be doing part three in the tier ranking series of AP classes. There will be one more part because I apparently forgot five other AP classes to cover. And today we'll be focusing on senior AP classes and how to do your senior year the right way. So let's get right into it. Um, so you want to make your senior year rewarding, but also relaxed. So I'm going to go ahead and rank cl classes commonly taken in the senior year. So you can get a gauge of how to plan your own. So the first class I'm going to talk about is macroeconomics. And that is a class that I would say is a little work, tough grades class. Um, many people would say it's an if you have to class fact actually because it is quite difficult but it's a very rewarding class i think macroeconomics is one of those classes in high school that has a big application into your real life so if that's a struggle you always have in school oh it, i don't see how this translates to the real world this is the kind of class you want to take because it's fulfilling it's rewarding so uh, apart from the difficulties it's a class worth taking uh, the same could be said for government but government is actually a really easy class Again, it's only it's another half semester class along with macro, and it's usually paired as a macro first semester and then go second semester. And government is very easy. We learn most of it coming up in elementary school and middle school, so easy class and uh, it's worth taking. I'm sure. So now we're gonna talk about calculus BC, the math class taken by ma the majority of people in their senior year. Calculus BC is a little work tough grades class. Um, I'm not sure if this is a ubiquitous concept, but usually the second half of senior year doesn't matter because all the colleges have your transcripts as long as you keep A's or high B's. So really the first semester is all that matters. And Calculus BC's first semester is almost exactly the same thing as Calculus AB. So that's actually a very easy class for that first semester. So it's very little work. And it, could, it is more work the second semester, but it doesn't really count that much. So it's not really a big deal. So now AP Literature, and that is a class that I would go ahead and say is a lots of work, easy grades class. Personally, um, again, it all depends on the teacher. Again, English is always depending on the teacher. But it's all in all, there's not excessive amount of writing. And we read Frankenstein, we read The Death of Salesman, that kind of book is much more interesting than the things we've read, been read, reading in the past. So it holds interest and it is a lot of work because it's a lot of reading, but it's easy. It's the getting good grades. It's quite easy. So it's rewarding all in all. So now AP environmental science, I, again, it's regarded to be a very easy class. Personally, uh, I took it much earlier and I had a much different experience, but for the most part, if you go to any kind of uh, high school planning seminar, they'll tell you that environmental science is usually considered the easiest AP, so it's the one that's highly recommended that people take. Now, I want to leave some uh, classes that are kind of in limbo between grades for that final video. So the last class I'm going to talk about here is going to be AP Spanish 5, and that is a never ever class. I'd highly suggest you don't take it unless you're dead set on being a Spanish major in college. And uh, yeah, it's the class is, again, it's like, imagine 14th century English, but in Spanish. It sounds bad and it's even worse. It's really difficult and uh, it's tedious at times. So I suggest you don't take it unless you're really trying to fill in spaces on your schedule. All right, so that concludes uh, part three of this video. The final part will be out tomorrow. And um, I'm going to go over micro, compco, physics, C, euro, and computer science principles. I hope that you understand how to choose good classes for your senior year. As you can see, the majority of them are easy. So you can have enough time to enjoy yourself during that last year. And uh, for you seniors who are there during this coronavirus epidemic, um, pandemic, my bad, I... Um, I hope you enjoy yourself regardless. So thank you and uh, tune in for the next video. If you enjoyed this video and it was valuable to you, go ahead and click the, on the playlist on the screen to watch the remaining videos in the series. Also like the video and subscribe and share with friends if you found it enjoyable. 
and helpful. And all in all, just stay safe and thank you for watching my video.